by blues. Now I've been teaching guitar for many years now and I only teach a basic guitar. I don't teach anybody anything really fancy. But I probably teach it different than anything you've ever seen before. And this is going back to the basic. I get somebody for the first time here. So you don't play any guitar. I can hand out two sheets of paper. On these sheets they have the basic chords for each key of the basic first position chords. So the first thing I tell people to do, you go home, you do this homework. I want you to learn these three chords, which is the three chords for the key of D. Now this would be a D, a G, and an A7. And back to D. Now this is in musical terms called the number system. It's called the one, four, and the five. The one is the key it's in, key of D. The four is a G. These are two major chords. The five is always going to be a seventh chord, so this is an A seventh. Okay, those are the three for the key of D. Somebody comes back next week, let's go into some other keys. We got the key of C. Now you got the key of C. C is your one. F is your four. And the G7 is your five. And you want to play this over and over and over again until your fingers know how to go to these chords without really thinking about it. So you in a circle. So you don't have to do anything fancy like I'm doing here. In fact, I would encourage you to see that you've got all the strings nailed down perfect just to play an arpeggio. That's to sound each note one at a time. So you know if you're muffing up anything here, you'll know it. So you the basic thing is to learn to switch these in that order over and over again until you can do it easy. You got it. Then you want to learn the key of E. And this is basic blues. A lot of blues are played in the key of E. You got the E. You got an A. And you got a B7. Everybody's learned all this stuff. I go to lesson two. I say, now you're ready to play closed chords. Now, closed chords are chords that you can play anywhere up the neck, and you can play them because you got enough strings set down with it that it sounds good. Because if you try to play this without anything close to it, you got a lot of open strings, it's not going to sound good. So, closed chords are ones essentially at the first ones you learn have all the strings down. And the first ones that I try to encourage you to do is take an F chord. And I'm playing it a bit different. It's like a bar would be like this. But I'm playing it like this with my thumb on the bass string. And the one that would go with that, that's number one. The one we go with that is a C seventh. So you're playing the C with my thumb on the bass string here and play the seventh chord with your little finger. Okay, so you switch back and forth between these two. You got an F and that C7. F, C7, F. Okay, now if you take that F chord and you move it two frets up, G chord right there. It's the same finger as the F, but now it's playing a G. So you're going to find that your five chord is right there handy. It's a D7, and it's like a C7 moved up to a D7. So you got this is going to be easier than the first position because the frets are closer together and further up than F to get. Three chords on the key of G, as we know, are the one, C, that's 
your four, and the D seventh is your five. So I'm just showing you here that when you play up the neck, your three chords are going to be right there together. You got the G. Okay, those are for one, four, five songs, which most country songs, pop songs, are one, four, five songs. When you get into ragtime, a little bit of jazz, you find that a common progression is not one, four, five, but it's one, six, two, five, one. And those are handy. I'm just using these same chords again, but I'm going. See, this is going to be an E7, and this is an A. Okay, so one, six, four, five is going to go. started playing there was that Bye Bye Blues. The first note in that is going to be a single note and you hold it and you make it vibrate because it's got to be a whole note long. So that's the whole key. Now there's the other chord that you play in here that may be strange to you. It's right here but it's just that same C7 moved up here to an E flat. Mm -hmm. 